cosmic inflation and the afterlife. Afterlife prediction, you will live again. Cosmic inflation is a theory in cosmology that fills gaps in our understanding of the Big Bang. It was independently conceived by Alexei Starobinsky in 1979 and Alan Guth in 1980, with early kinks being worked out in the following years by Andre Lind, Paul Steinhardt, and Andy Albrecht. It explains why space is so big, why the universe was so hot and dense in its early history, and why space is still expanding. Today inflation is a well-supported theory having direct observational evidence. Cosmic inflation makes a prediction that, so far, remains untested, the process that caused our Big Bang never stopped, and it will continue creating new ones for all time. This idea is known as eternal inflation. Eternal inflation leads to a multiverse, a reality populated by an infinite number of Big Bangs, with new Big Bangs occurring forever. This consequence is acknowledged by the originators of the theory. Quote. Most important of all is the simple statement that once inflation happens, it produces not just one universe, but an infinite number of universes. End quote. Alan Guth, in Eternal Inflation and Its Implications. Quote. Every experiment that brings better credence to inflationary theory brings us much closer to hints that the multiverse is real. End quote. Andre Lind. If this idea is right, if the multiverse of eternal inflation is real, then it has profound implications for the afterlife. Cosmic Inflation's Predictions for the Afterlife. If eternal inflation is right, then our Big Bang is just one among an infinite succession of Big Bangs. Given that, even rare happenings, such as the entire history of life on Earth, is bound to repeat. It will repeat not just once or twice, but an infinite number of times. These other lives you will live will occur in another place and time, very far away, and possibly very far in the future, but they will happen. Quote. In an eternally inflating universe, anything that can happen will happen, in fact, it will happen an infinite number of times. End quote. Alan Guth, in Eternal Inflation and Its Implications. Describing inflation, Alan Guth once said the universe may be the ultimate free lunch. Lind added to this. Quote. The inflationary universe is not just the ultimate free lunch, it's the only lunch where all possible dishes are served. End quote. Andre Lind. Every possible history of Earth, from large changes, where say, mammals never evolved, down to the smallest, such as a different choice for dinner, happen in the immensity of eternal inflation. So you will not only relive your life exactly as you have thus far, but in the infinitude of possibility, you will experience every variation. That life where you took the other job, moved to the other city, where you went out to eat instead of staying in two nights ago. All of them happen, have happened, and will happen again. The idea of a cyclic reality is ancient. It's been described in the writings of ancient Egyptians and Mayans, by early Indian and Greek philosophers, even in the Old Testament of Abrahamic religions. Quote. What has happened before will happen again. What has been done before will be done again. There is nothing new in the whole world. Look, they say, here is something new. But no, it has all happened before, long before we were born. End quote. Ecclesiastes 1, verses 9 and 10, circa 450 to 200 BC. According to eternal inflation, after you die you will be born again. You will live again? It may take a 1000 years, or 100 trillion. But on the time scales of eternity the time it requires is unimportant. What's important is that it's inevitable. We can't test this afterlife, but we can and have tested cosmic inflation. So if cosmic inflation is true, you will live again. In fact, under cosmic inflation, 
you are destined to live an infinite number of times. For more on inflation, see, what caused the Big Bang.